welcome back to my channel dental cafe so today we are going to discuss about the different flap designs used in surgery okay then let's begin the video so we have various types of flaps but in this in this video we are going to discuss about the four types of flap first one is the semilunar flap then we have a triangular flap third one we have a trapezoidal flap and the last we have a envelope flap all these flaps are most commonly used flap at the time of surgery so begin with the trapezoidal flap first one so look at the figure suppose these are the tooth which is associated with the periapical pathology so in trapezoidal flap we are going to give a one horizontal incision along the gingival crevice with two vertical relieving incision as you can see in the figure and then we are going to raise the flap after raising the flap as you can see we have a periapical pathology and this is a big pathology involving the adjacent tooth too so we are using trapezoidal flap in case of large periapical pathology which is involving more than single tooth now what are the advantages excellent access as this is a large flap so access is very excellent at the uh, surgical site then vascular supply maintained and this uh, flap is used for extensive bony defect and there is no tension in the tissue because we are giving it to vertical relieving incision so flap is easily raised there is no tearing of tissue or there is no tension in the tissue and disadvantage is closure is very challenging so look at the video this is a, a video of a, a trapezoidal flap so first we are giving a vertical relieving incision as you can see we are giving a, a one vertical relieving incision then we are giving a horizontal incision following the gingival crevice and after that we are going to give a another vertical incision so we have a two relieving incision and one horizontal incision and uh, this is a case of uh, episiectomy we have a periapical pathology involving a more than one tooth so this is a case of episiectomy so we can use a trapezoidal incision in case of episiectomy if pathology is large so this is in a short of trapezoidal flap first horizontal incision following the gingival curvature then we have a two vertical relieving incision in medial and distal aspect of the uh, horizontal incision and this indication of the trapezoidal flap is they are used in large bony bony defect and uh, this design is used in case of third lower third molar extraction in case of episiectomy if defect is large now the second one is the triangular flap as you can see in the um, figure if a single tooth is associated with the pathology then we uh, we are going to give a horizontal incision along the gingival crevice with a single vertical relieving incision in this we are not going to give a two vertical relieving incision only single that is why it is also called two sided flap and then raise the flap after raising the flap you can see a pathology is associated to the apex of the single tooth so this uh, flap is uh, used when uh, pathology is associated with the single tooth if it is associated with the multiple tooth then we are going to use a trapezoidal flap now what are the advantages so satisfactory uh, visualization there is a flap stability adequate blood supply and easy to adapt because complete flap is not raised so easy to adapt as compared to the trapezoidal and disadvantage is there is a tension in the tissue tissue is 
easily tear because there is no second relieving incision so there is a fold in the tissue there is a tension in the tissue and the chances of the tear is more as compared to the other type of flap so look at the figure first we are going to give a vertical relieving incision and then horizontal incision along the gingival crevice so there is no second vertical relieving incision so there is a tension in the tissue there is a chances of tearing of flap so what are the indications they are basically uh, used in surgical removal of root tips and episiectomy procedure limited to single tooth third flap design is the semi lunar flap now look at the figure we have a tooth which is associated with the pathology so we are going to give a incision in half moon shape or a semi lunar shape and then we are going to raise the flap so basically uh, this flap allow a very minimal exposure of the tissue so we are using uh, this flap in the aesthetic area to limit the recession of the tissue in triangular and trapezoidal flap we have we can see a gingival recession now advantage is easy to raise good in area of aesthetic compromise as i told you then disadvantage is scaring and numbness of overlying mucosa is sometimes there not obvious now look at the uh, figure so this incision is bow like curvature extending to minimum of a one tooth as you can see it involves only single tooth basically they are used in the case of episiectomies or in a surgical procedure which have limited extent now the last flap design is the envelope flap so in envelope flap we are going to just give a horizontal circular incision there is no relieving incision a bit or we can say partial relieving incision not a complete relieving incision incision is in the form of envelope just a horizontal circular incision and then we are going to raise the flap now the advantages of envelope flap good exposure during surgery adequate blood supply then disadvantages loss of alveolar bone distal to second molar due to wound dehiscence they are most commonly used in the third lower third molar extraction so there distal to the third molar there is a chances of loss of alveolar bo bone due to wound dehiscence then circular incision may lead to periodontal damage there is chances of gingival recession pocket formation then loss of attack gingiva look at the figure this is an example of envelope flap in case of lower third molar extraction this is we have a impacted third molar so first we are going to give a circular incision and then we have a distal relieving incision as you can see in the figure so so uh, that to expose the third molar so the indication of the envelope flop, uh, flap is basically in the extraction of impacted lower third molar most commonly used flap in such cases i hope this video is helpful for you to understand various types of flaps and flaps design and their uses if you want more such kind of video do comment on comment section and yeah don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for the latest update